Hi, this is Asin. Today I'd like to share how to calculate the probability of a binomial distribution using calculator. So first, we press menu. So we look for distribution setting. So as we can see, we have binomial PD. If let's say we press the down button, we can see binomial CD. So one is probability distribution, one is cumulative distribution. So for the probability density function of the binomial, so for example, we want to find a particular value, the probability of getting two, so we use PD. So let's say we want to find the probability of getting zero, one, and two, so it means that from 0 to 2, then we use CD, cumulative. So if let's say we just want to get a particular value, for example, like x when x equal to 5. So we just have to press 4, then we press variable. So it means that we just need one value of x. So when x equal to 5, okay, what is the n? n is all together 10 triangles here, for example then p is 0 0.2 so we will get the correct probability so let's say we want to have cumulative so again we just have to press so cumulative so seven and we want the variable two then so we press okay so accumulate up to five we have 0 0.99363 so this is the correct cumulative probability. So let's say we want to make a list, for example, like this. So instead of using variable, then we choose list. So we have list, which is one. So we just have to key in from zero to 10. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then after that, remember, press one more time equal, press enter again, then we will have n equal to, then we input the number of trials, and then p 0 0.2, so equal, then we will obtain a list of probability. So same thing, if let's say we want to uh, get a list of cumulative distribution. So again, mode the menu then we look for distribution then cd7 so now we want a list so seven so zero one two three is already done just now so we just press equal and we have okay then this is the cumulative distribution as we can see here so let's say we have for example like less than or equal to 2 so this is not the problem because this is exactly the cumulative distribution so we just have to take the cumulative distribution value how if let's say the questions ask for more than cumulative for this calculator it shows only less than cumulative so that's why when we want to calculate we will take 1 minus since more than equals to 2 means that we need 2 so we minus less than 2 or equivalent to minus less than equal to 1 so this is actually the cumulative distribution up to 1 so what we have to do here is first we reset everything so 3 okay so even we don't want to reset also the same method so back to the distribution then what we want here is the cumulative so one then we want a variable so x is equal to one then 10 probability 0 0.2 okay so we already obtained the cumulative value so what i'm going to do here is let's say we lazy to memorize the figure so what we can do here is we press store then okay store at any alphabet that we like so store maybe store A. So it's already stored to A. Okay, so as we can see, if let's say we want to press the number is not possible. Even we press AC, escape back to this. 
So what we have to do is use menu, then we go to calculate. So press. So already back to calculate. So we want minus the alphabet A. So that equal. So this is the cor correct value. So if let's say we want from 3 to 8, meaning to say is the total value from x equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So meaning to say we take the accumulated of 8 minus, since we want 3, so we minus the accumulated value of 2. So we take 8 minus 2. So do the same thing. Then we have 7, then CT. So now we want very equal. So for this case, what we want is 8 minus 2. So we press 8, then and we have 10, then probability 0 0.2. So we obtain the value already. So I'm going to store again to 8. So already store. Now I press again. So again, CT. Then variable again for this round I'm going to have two. So press two, then equal. So I've already obtained the correct value. So again store, don't store A again, store to B. Okay, already store everything. So what we have to do? Okay, we press for calculate. Okay, so I'm going to calculate A minus B. Then we get the correct answer. So for this case as well, so less than, more than 3 but less than 8, so not included 8, not included 3. So that's why we have to take starting from 7, then we minus starting from 3, okay? Means that accumulate up to 7 minus accumulate up to 3 because we don't want the 3. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.